There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Debos, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Girl, what's up? What's up, everybody? I hope y'all are having like a good day. It is raining outside, it is gloomy, and it is nice and cold, like chill, chill weather. So I figured, you know what? I really wasn't gonna do no video today, but I was trying to catch up because I don't want to have so many in one day that I gotta do. I don't mind doing two videos in a day, but like three and four, girl, listen. So anyway, girl, listen, okay? Now y'all know wigs, lace front wigs have come so far. They have evolved over the years. So when you get one that looked like it then took you back to 2010. Girl, when I tell you this wig, this lace front wig looked like they done took me back to like 2010, girl, when lace front wigs was like just popping. I might be over exaggerating a little bit, but girl, yes. The lace on this, I'm not sure if it's going to be invisible, transparent. It's not as thin as the normal new laces. And I did have to pluck the hairline, girl. Also, it does come with an elastic band sewn inside. And did I forget to mention, I had to bleach this bad boy, okay? Girl, y'all know I wasn't too happy about having to bleach anything, but I made it do what it do. So I hope, but I'm just saying this is looking like a 2012 2010 type of lace front here it's a 13 by 4 i do believe and it's by a company that i've worked with probably like a couple of times called ula hair y'all know if i'm mispronouncing it y'all know the link is going to be in the in the description box below now like i said i wasn't going to do no video today so that's why i came through with this t-shirt on okay yes came through with the t-shirt okay we're just going to jump right into this I'm hoping that I can make it do what it do. I'm hoping that I can make it work for me and work for you. But Ula Hair is affordable. They do have affordable wigs. So if you are in the business of making those wigs look natural, making them slay all day like it ain't your birthday, then girl, I'm gonna leave everything down below. You can check them out. So we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna try this wig out. We're gonna see what this 2012 is hinting. And I'm gonna just show you how your wig come. And we're gonna just get into this. Okay, girl. You don't care what you're doing to me I've been down in the ruins so deep All the games they are playing All the love you're forsaken You let it slip away Oh, 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 oh. You don't care what you're doing to me Every setback, every mishap, every time you say you gon' change. Say so you get it, you regret it, I forgive it, but you stay the same. You should cry an ocean for me. For the dumb shit and the damage you've done. Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks. Try to fight it, but I'm drowning alone. Sister, save me now. Now, whoa, sister, save me now, save me now, whoa. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Let's let's melt this 2010, okay? Let's melt this. Now, you see the lace is a little bit thicker than most, okay? And I did pre-pluck some of the hairline before I even put the wig on, you know, like days before. But I decided I was going, you know, style it on camera with you guys so y'all can see how I melted and hooked up this 2010. Okay. So for one, like I was saying, the lace is thicker than most. This is some pretty thick lace. And there's always a trick to any lace when you are melting it. Like if y'all think that you cannot melt thicker lace, girl, it just depends on the hairspray and how you do it. Now for one... As you see, the ear tabs are, the, the, the hairline is all the way past my earlobes. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do is customize this unit and part over the ears and cut off that extra 2010, okay? There we go. Pull that ear through and we're gonna repeat that same thing on the opposite side, baby. Now, because this lace is thicker, I'm going to take these little sharp scissors. And you see my arm is wiggling, right? Look like I'm about to take flight. But I'm just kind of like making the edges jagged and kind of like going in, up and down. So that way it don't be so blunt. 
because girl listen we got to make this 2010 melt now i'm just cutting off a little bit more lace because when the lace is thicker like this honey you want to cut it as close as you can to the hairline now here's the trick you got to use some good hairspray now of course my aussie would have definitely have worked for this but i said i'm gonna use this got to be because it got a little control spray nozzle and everything got to be right on time with this one so that was the first layer this is the second layer this is gotta get tacky now because this lace is thicker honey you can't let it get tacky and think that it's gonna stick you're gonna have to do the third layer right here you're gonna have to put on enough make sure that that sucker is wet meaning wet when you press that lace down now you see how it just disappeared but i went back in with some more lace because i ain't have a, some more spray because i ain't have enough on there so you know you got to make sure that it goes on wet not tacky because tacky is not going to make that thick lace disappear and i just repeat that on all the sides and of course i am going to use my blow dryer because baby the hairspray is wet and the lace is 2010 so we want to make sure that everything sticks adheres girl i put so much hairspray on this thing i thought when i was taking it off my brain was gonna come with it okay but yeah this hairspray is good and so is aussie instant freeze but like i said this had a control nozzle and besides that i don't really use this hairspray so much so i felt like you know what i'm gonna just i'm gonna just use it on this i'm not about to use my favorites and and you know yeah so here we go of course because the lace is a little bit thicker you know you got to make sure that that lace is cut right to the hairline now of course you're going to see some of that lace don't think that you're not going to see none of the lace because you're going to see some of it so we're going to have to camouflage this sucker and that's what we're doing so if you love you some baby hairs honey then this wig is for you you can put all the baby hairs to your heart's delight okay that's what i'm gonna do so as y'all see, I'm happy because that's my favorite toothbrush. I've had that toothbrush for like 10 years. It's just for my hair, baby. And I lost it like two and a half, three years ago. And I found it. I found it the other day and I was happy. Now, of course, I did cut this part out when I was molding and sculpting because I didn't know the camera was off. Okay. I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know. So excuse me for that. But y'all see me do this all the time. I use my favorite Mark Anthony sculpting mousse. And for this lace and for this hairstyle, you gotta use the comb in. You can't use the brush because if you use the brush, you might brush up that lace and you don't wanna do that, not after you done stuck it down. So girl, use the comb to sculpt those baby hairs or whatever you wanna call them. But I think I did a damn good job. Now, you know, it's wet, it's still wet. But I'ma go ahead and I'ma put on my little melting band. And then you know, we're gonna take it from there. Now I'ma say this. <clears throat> This is some pretty hair. This is some really good grade of hair. That is a must. That's. I just wish it was on a different lace. Okay? But, you know, I can just show my skills right here. How I melt a 2010. Okay? Yes. And it didn't take much to curl this sucker because she's not as long. She's 14 inches. And I respect the length because this is a decent length. And I respect the curl pattern because this curl pattern, this curl, this hair, the hair is really nice. I'm going to give it to I'm going to definitely give it to them for the hair. Some really nice hair. I, I was very, very shocked and surprised at how nice the hair came out. You know what I mean? It held a curl. The ends weren't frag, like straight or fra fragile or whatever you want to call it, or frayed and raggedy looking. The ends was not raggedy. The hair quality is some good hair. So, Ula hair, yes. They got some really nice, decent hair. I'm pretty sure they have different lace on their website. They just sent me the old school. You should cry an ocean for me. For the dumb shit and the damage you've done. Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks. Try to fight it, but I'm drowning alone. Sister, save me now. Save me now. Whoa. Sister, save me now. Save me now. Whoa. Woosa, woosa, woosa. Now, when I tell y'all I did the best, the best, the best, the best that I could, I did the best that I could to hook this wig up. For one, this is the reason why I only did one wig video today, because I knew this one was going to take up my time. Okay, girl. The lace is a little bit thick. Like, it reminds me of 2012, okay, 2010. Like I said to you guys before, plenty of times, okay? When you have a wig like this, you have to melt it 
a certain kind of way. So I gotta let the first two to three layers get tacky. And then like the third or fourth layer, I'm gonna have to put that on the wig while it's wet. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to spray it and then pull the wig down. So that way the, the lace can get wet and crystal clear and work around it. Sometimes you can blow dry. Sometimes you cannot, okay? It just depends. You gotta just, it's trial and error, baby. It's trial and error. Then you gotta take out the concealer or the pressed powder, girl. And you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta Jimmy, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Shoe, Rendig, MacGyver it up. You gotta, you gotta do like some stuff, okay? You gotta do like some stuff to make sure that it worked for you. Now, I will say this. The density is lovely. And the length, I love the length. Like, this is like the length that I would wear now. But... I will be this honest with you guys. It turned out cute, even though, you know, I had to shin shindig it up. With this type of wig, you want to cut the lace as close as possible so that way it doesn't show. And then you want to Jimmy Chew it up, okay, in the front area so that way the lace is hidden. Yeah, it took me a minute to get this Ula wig to, to perform and do what it do. Now, granted, I feel like I was brought back, back to the future, you know. 2012, 2010, but I made it work. I made it do what it would do. If y'all know me very well, y'all know I had this toothbrush forever, like 10 plus years. Um, Y'all haven't seen me use this toothbrush in like two to three years because girl, I didn't even know where this thing was at. Okay, like two years. I, I didn't know where it was at. I accidentally found it in one of my, you know, my little hair kits. Girl, when I seen this toothbrush, I hurried up and cleaned her off because this was my go-to, go-to all the time. Like, yes, it's the bristles for me. Okay, and when it gets dirty, it gets even better. Not too dirty because if you let it get too stiff girl you're gonna scratch your skin off okay i got to go you know i got things to do i hope y'all enjoyed this video you know we brought we brought it back we brought it back girl we brought it back it's 2012 okay but i love y'all stay diva and devolicious you know make sure you rate comment and subscribe baby thumbs the video up and now the sun is coming out so we getting some feng shui some good vibes going on in here make sure y'all rate comment and thumbs the video up like it like it i love y'all